Hey folks, welcome back to Tales Principle 2. We have arrived at puzzle number 7 over here, um, which will be the last one we actually need to open up the, the bridge gate thing. Backward propagation. Okay, I can imagine what that might mean. It's also a term in neural nets, right? I think. I've, I've forgotten my... Um, Neural net course, which I did at university. Um, the lecturer was a bit, like a bit rubbish. It's extremely like dry, um, like not not physically dry. <laughs> Just a very dry person. Skin. Skin really dry, hair really dry. No, uh, just the, the, the way it was taught was very dry and hard to follow. Um, and never like given in, in an intuitive way, which I think you need a bit of. You need a bit of like intuition and a bit of um, maths and to balance it out. Um, but it was just very, very, ma like just very like maths first, which is, is fine. I like that. But like then I've seen course I've seen like videos from like three blue one brown about neural nets, which just immediately make it so much more clear what's actually happening and why it works. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is a, a neural net um, reference at all, because the idea of propagating backwards is just a general a general one. Uh, what are we do? We've got red. Blue is required there, blue is required there. There's another thing on the other side. Let's go get that if we can. Um, which I can do just by doing this, actually. I can't get it. Ooh, red's required there as well. Texas, that. Interesting. This is the backwards propagation. We're trying to get the blue out of here. So we have two inverters. So is this blue? This is blue, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And we've got two inverters going the other way, and this is red. Yes, got it. So we're got, what we're going to do is set up... We might set up the whole thing. Do I think so? All of them? Because you won't have a source, and then what do I think? This updates to become the inputs afterwards? Maybe. Uh, okay, then you... Right, so I'm going to be able to open it temporarily. Which will open the thing on the inside, and that will now be... Uh, no, 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 okay. Ah, ah. But I can't connect to that as well, can I? No, those angles are very specifically set up, by, so I can't. So that needs to get bootstrapped. Oh, which I can do now, because now that one's going to have that permanently, right? Because that's bootstrapped itself, yeah. So I can just move this along. Uh, let's reset you to that, that, and that. And then open this. Oh. Yeah, perfect. Whoop. Hello. Enter the tower is my objective. Solution. Ooh, it's another apparition. There's so much to discover on this island that sometimes it overwhelms <laughs> me. It's a cat. Every lake, every forest contains an incredible no, it's a fox. connected, permanently changing network of organisms. It's a fox. And every one of those organisms is almost infinitely complex and contains no. other organisms within itself. It seems impossible to ever really grasp, but then, step by step, I do understand. It takes time and effort, but it's not impossible. And there's a lot of joy to be found in simply taking the time to truly study something. I spent five years studying a single flower, and it never got boring. Uh, I didn't quite focus on that, but I think it was once again about the beauty of just looking at the world. I don't want to scare the fox, I want to say hello to the fox. Come, come here. 
I've got some food, I've got treats for you. Sorry, that was a lie. Hey, I saw some wildlife, cool. And so I'm sure there were some deer in the um, in the other place, I just never came across them. Um, there are lots of foxes that live near me as well, I see them regularly. I think that was a fox. Um, but yeah, got got lots of foxes near me. Uh, if I if I walk home, like at, like during the dark, which there's a lot of dark right now, um, then I there's a decent chance I will see I see I'll see a fox. Um, they're, they're lovely creatures. What is this? Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Well, so we'll keep our, we'll think about that afterwards. Puzzle number eight should be this way, I think. Let's look at the thing. Eight, yeah. I do like that there's a, like a, a, a looping path in each of the worlds. And it's a nice way of structuring things. Makes it a lot easier to navigate. What's this? Have I found the lab here yet? Is this the lab? Oh. Oh, this clearly means something. Is it a witness puzzle? It's a checkerboard pattern. Red flowers in between. It clearly means something. This is a secret. It's a secret of some sort. Was it relevant that the fox ran across? Is there somewhere I can input this? As a pattern? Hmm. Curious. I think that's yeah, I think that's like a temple. Is that marked on the map? No. So from the memory I've seen that. Uh where was I? Over here somewhere. That's going this way, yeah. Hey! Have I chatted with you recently? Yes. Eight. Positional interchange. Uh, is that? Oh gosh, that was a thing I could walk through. That's just a normal box, yeah. It looks weird. Inverter, red. Inverter's never leaving, right? I don't think so. Box is never leaving either. Oh, but there's... Ah. Oh, wait. How high will this go? Probably just so I can get through that gap. I mean, so I can assume that this is happening. Although, what's going to make this go up in the first place? I'm going to shine a red through, and then this is going to bootstrap itself. I assume. Uh, you are holding that open, and I can't leave with you. Oh, so I'd have to put something else there. Which is going to have to be what? I can't get that. I need a red and a blue. Wait, red? This goes to there. Blue goes to also there? Huh? I think so. Do they both need to be on? Maybe they both need to be on. Um, That can't come out. That can't come out. Then I have nothing. Unless I can do something from inside here, which I can. Got it. Well, then that will go up and be boosted. Ooh. So why does it get broken? Oh, because this gets broken, of course. By that. Interesting. What could I do about that? And why doesn't that just stay powered? Oh, wait, because that's blue. Oh, yeah, because that's not even the right thing. Hold on. So, to there, to there. But then that is going to get cut off. Uh. saying then? I still would never be able to take this out of here. 
The only way to do that is to put something else on this instead. Probably the... Oh, so I've read to here. Can I do that? Oh, maybe I can do that from inside there. Let's just reset you. Mm, yes, maybe I can by doing that. And... Yeah, okay. Which gets me a second thingy. Okie dokie. So there's some way of getting that to go up and floating, right? Pretty sure. So if that's the case, then we want to be able to lift you up without you disconnecting. Which... Oh, which can be done from the other side. Got it. So we're swapping you and you. At least for now. And you're coming out here instead. But that can't go through there. Hmm, maybe not then. Right? It can't go through there. Yes. Can I somehow do both? You want red, but you are going to be red because that's going to be on there. So we're going to connect you and you. We're going to put you on top of the thing. And connect it to that. And that, sure. Yeah, why not all of them? So when this goes up, you'll be connected and that will stay powered. Yeah, okay. But then that means this needs to send a blue to that, which it isn't. It's going to send a red. Uh, yes it is, because that's a normal connector. Oh, but it can send a red directly to there. That goes up, that gets connected. Then that's open. Now what? <laughs> now I can remove... So wait, you're bootstrapping yourself, so this can be removed, right? With no adverse effects. Nope, that had adverse effects, okay. Uh, Right, but you could just be grabbing that from there instead of from there. Of course, so. Uh, remove you. Nope. Remove you. Add you. Okay. Then this can be removed with no adverse effects. Where, where are you getting your thing from? You're getting it from... This. So no, you can't be removed. That is going to fall. Well, it's not, because that's powering it. Ah, but we can't... So if we remove it, that stays floating because of that. I can then swap this in? To just send a blue to that, so then it is powering itself. Sort of. It's still coming from here. It's still gonna have to come from something though. What do I need? I need a... a <laughs> okay, we need blue and a red. If I had the... If I had that, which I can now remove... But I wouldn't be able to leave, is the issue. Oh, and it fell. No! Okay, but... Oh, no, okay, we're back in this situation. Not if we do this, though. Oh, okay, so hold on. Uh, that and that. Oh, no, it can't, it can't be there. It could be, like, it could be here. Yes, it can be there. In which case, we've now got this out, right? Because I can now remove this. Yes. Uh, which lets me do the blue, but not the red. Wait, no, I can do the red. Or the other way around. Yeah, I can either do the red. Ah, and you could send... Oh, this is going to break. Ah, oh, but you can't actually reach that blue. Okay. Uh, like an alternative there is I do blue there. Yeah, they both need to be done. 
But then the red needs to come from... Are you bootstrapping now? You're not bootstrapping. Could you be bootstrapping? Could you just be getting blue directly? Mm, I don't think so. No, that wall's going to be in the way. And that wall. Okay. So you can't get it directly. So you can't just be completely bootstrapped. Here, from here we can see red. That's relevant. We're supposed to send red directly to there from here. Oh dear. Maybe I had things better when that was in here then. Yeah, yeah. Can I swap them over again without too many problems? Probably not. Uh, that and that. And that? No, not that. Just those two. Uh, you're having problems. Well, so, okay, so... That and that and that and that? Okay, that's those two things open. Blue is going to be awkward though. Very awkward. Because of this. You are doing nothing right now. Could you be giving me blue? You could to like here. Ugh. Okay. So you aren't bootstrapping yourself at all. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, put it here with the same connections. I'm gonna put this on there. It's fine. It's blocking everything. You are not connecting to that. You are connecting to. Wait, how am I making this send me blue? Because it's receiving blue. So it's going to send me red. I do have another inverter. No, the inverter's in there. No, it's receiving... Yeah, it's receiving blue. Can I swap the position of this and... No, this. nothing's leaving here. No, that fence is too high. So if anything's coming out of here, it's gonna be blue turning into red, turning into blue turning into red. Oh yes, this will be blue. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, so uh, uh, no wait, blue turning to red, turning to blue. Yes. And then get rid of you. So that goes up uh, after I do this. So now you're a blue source. So you can go here and here. Yes, okay. Cool. Wowie, that was tough. Uh, there's another triangle puzzle to do. And there's the dashed line that I saw, which is very obvious. Which I've done about. Uh, other triangle puzzle. Where do I think you are? You're, you're usually like behind another puzzle somewhere. This is where the thing comes in. This is where that water is with the, the dude in it. Yep. Okay, triangle puzzle. Where are you? Where did I find the other one? Behind like six or something like that? Or near six?
What was this again? Oh, I think I found a uh, Moran division here. Maybe. Oh. Ah. Okay. That's weird. Ancient mechanisms of unknown functionality. It's impossible to reconstruct the purpose of this device, is it? Impossible. Turn the wheel that goes up and down. What's that for? There's a pipe going to the bottom bit and the pipe comes through. There's a chamber here, a chamber there. I don't know, I think if you spend some time you can figure that out. Or maybe the game is just telling me, no, no, don't try and figure this out. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. This is interesting. I don't think I came across this before. Anyway, triangle puzzle, where are you? Probably out towards the edges of the islands. Is a reasonable guess. If I walk around it, maybe I'll find it. Oh, there's more. It's impossible to figure out the use of this thing. Tricycle, a very small vehicle with three wheels, perhaps intended for children or pets. For pets? What kind of pet do you have? Pet monkey? Pet chimpanzee? There's some weird, look at the like grey smears at the edge of the screen left and right. I don't know if that's supposed to be like an intended like optical effect with my robot eye or just a weird kind of glitch in the rendering. Are there any fish? Probably gonna miss the triangle puzzle if I just keep doing that. Uh, maybe it's near this thing. It looked like there might have been more going on near here. Lots of entrances in. It is maze-like, see? Not the triangle puzzle though, is it? It's just where the statue is. Uh, this was the other one, which I've done. Okay, where am I near? I'm near... I'm between five and four. So sort of assuming they'll be spread out in some way. What's over here? Oh, this is bad, no, this is fine. That's, that is that triangle was linked to, yeah, just from the back, okay. What's this? Those also look interesting. This is one of the puzzles I've done, right? This is like seven or six or something? Six. Check these out. Oh, oh. This is the lab. These labs seem to be everywhere, but compared to the technology we're seeing above ground, they're downright primitive. Are we even sure that the labs and the puzzles belong to the same people? Yeah. There seems to be a connection between the experimental setups in the labs and some of the puzzle technology. Mm -hmm. Correlation does not necessarily imply causation, though. True. But just because we What's don't that? understand the connection, that doesn't mean it's not there. What we have here is two things that reflect each other. We just don't understand how that reflection works or what causes it. Maybe Miranda can tell us. What's this? Oh, anti-grav. 
Then we're getting anti-grav next. <clears throat> the end, draft. After a lifetime dedicated to the written word, I'm faced with a task I could never have expected. Writing an epitaph not only for myself, but for my species. In the unlikely event that Alexandra Drennan is successful, and one day some someone reads this, what meaningful insights can I share into this strange phenomenon that is humanity? <clears throat> So this is from the before times. I spent days thinking about it, but now I'm running out of time. So I'll set down the one thought that I simply can't shake. It didn't have to be this way. With more time, we could have found a cure. With a few political victories, we could have been prepared. Change any factor, even by a little, and we would have made it. This isn't divine punishment, it's just dumb luck. I'm reaching for something here. I'm, I'm reaching for something here, but I don't know what it is. Forgiveness, grace, acceptance? No, I hate the idea of accepting this. Hope maybe. I feel the story isn't finished. Maybe it should be. No epitaph for humanity. I pray Drennan is right. It didn't have to be this way, and yet it was. Feels worth coming. Hmm. This is not a bad message. <laughs> like maybe a little bit more preparedness and some. Uh, and some sense and some determination could do a lot to change the future of things. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Charon, Charon, whatever, leaned forward and rode. All things were one with his uh, weariness. It was weariness. Weariness. It was not with him a matter of years or of. It was not with him a matter of years or of centuries, but of was not with him, I see, it was not with him a matter of years or of centuries, but of wide floods of time and an old heaviness and the pain in the arms that had become for him part of the scheme that the gods had made and was of a peace with, of a peace with eternity. If the gods had even sent him a contrary wind, it would have been divided, all, it would have divided all time in his memory into two equal slabs. So grey were all things always where he was, that if any radiance lingered a moment among the dead, on the face of such a queen, perhaps as Cleopatra, his eyes could not have perceived it. It was strange that the dead nowadays were coming in such numbers. They were coming in thousands where they used to come in fifties. It was neither Charon's duty nor his want to ponder in his grey soul why these things might be. Charon leaned forward and rode. Then no one came for a while. It was not usual for the gods to send no one down to earth for such a space, but the gods knew best. <clears throat> then one man came alone, and the little shade sat shivering on a lonely bench, and the great boat pushed off. Only one passenger, the gods knew best, and great and weary Charon, <laughs> it's fun or name awkward, rode on and on beside the little silent shivering ghost, and the sound of the river was like a mighty sigh that grief in the beginning had sighed among her sisters, and that could not die like the echoes of human sorrow falling, failing on earthly hills, but was as old as time and the pain in Karen's arms. Um, then the boat from the slow grey river loomed up to the coast of Dis, and the little silent shade, still shivering, stepped ashore, and Charon turned the boat to go wearily back to the world. Then the little shadow spoke that had been a man. I am the last, he said. No one had ever made Charon smile before. No one before had ever made him weep. There is an obvious and perhaps intended interpretation that this is the end of humanity and the last shadow is the last human to live. But another interpretation is equally possible, that humanity has achieved immortality and the last shadow is the last human to die. I prefer the latter. It's an interesting, so I imagine a, um, something they would have heard about the first game is there were a lot of passages that were hard to understand. And to be honest, like me reading things out, li out loud for the sake of doing, uh, you know, a, a, a let's play of the, the game actually makes it harder because <laughs> there's a focus on like, on, on reading and getting the words right and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think it makes it harder for me to interpret things. And it's nice to have this like comment section to like kind of give a little bit of a summary of like, what might be meant by this. Um, I think I got the, the message here though, um, in general. I think I got at least Miranda's uh, interpretations. <clears throat> okay, more change log. Are we in the, is this, I presume the Noma project is, is what I'm, uh, interacting with in some way like either the like the Prometheus and all that kind of stuff and Miranda and all that or maybe everything maybe the world I'm in etc 
Experiment modified to gain further insights into unexpected error, inconsistent results, simultaneous trials affecting each other via unknown mechanism. What is going on here? Okay, weird. They've got some bugs they can't figure out. But yeah, okay, we've got anti-grav. Can I go in? Oh no, it's good glass, sadly. Alright. Guess we know what we're expecting in the next world. However, however let's see if we can get that uh, dashed line thing done. This looks important. The fire extinguishers. Okay. Oh no, we still haven't done the triangle puzzle, have we? <laughs> I was looking for the triangle puzzle. Where's that? This way, maybe? Past these? They do put these structures in to, like, guide my attention in certain directions, so maybe. Also, there are usually paths to them, rather than me just walking through the wilderness like this. Well, this looks like something relevant, though. Oh, yeah, there's a terminal thing. Alrighty, lift us here. The rotting remains of the old world should fill me with melancholy. Even here on this remote island, our ancestors could not escape their fate. And yet, I find there is something pathetic about these ruins that evokes anger and even contempt. I feel it is a mistake to accept this catastrophe with equanimity. What we see here should offend us. When witnessing this triumph of entropy, we should aspire to a warrior spirit. Even a kind of hate of the past and its failures that will never allow such a thing to happen again. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Where is this triangle puzzle? I'm like back here. Somewhere in the middle? What's this? Eight. Up here, maybe? What's this one? This is the. No, what is this? Oh, there we go. We found this. Alrighty. We are still finding things, that's good. Uh, head up. So that's near the where the thing comes in. Oh, that's fine, we've got it on our compass now. Um, hmm. Hmm. Not know. This is like where I started off. Is there anything down this way? I mean, the, the, the dashed line goes here. That's where this is. Yeah, okay. I, I went through this before. Where is the triangle puzzle? Hmm. Definitely R2. There were two on the map thing. Not the map thing, but like the directions. It's this way. This is clearly a path. Where do you go? Uh, nowhere? I guess it's along the front of here. This wasn't something, right? Was there something here? Was this which I already did? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's no question marks on my compass. Nope. Not as far as I can tell. Where am I going? Usually there's just like a path off to the side, 
like as I'm walking along. Like a slightly more obscure path, but it was always there and relatively clear. One. Is it behind one? Or is it in this space here in the middle? No. I don't think so. Where are you at? Oh, this looks this looks important. Is this somewhere I've already walked? This is somewhere I've already walked. What's up this way? Nothing? This feels like an important area in some way, but maybe it's just important for that. You're right in this, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Still no sign of a puzzle. Okay, let's get back on the path, I think. Or maybe this way. It could be in, yeah, there's all sorts of rocky areas around here. It could be in any of this. It could even be like underground in some way. Look at this, this is cool. Uh, that's just like two, right? What number is this? What number is this? Oh, it's there. Two, yep. Okay. What's up here? What's this thing? Okay, it's that structure again. Okay, we're doing this. Classic Talos Principle experience. Everywhere. Okay. So the other end of the dashed line. Maybe we should just do that. I want to find this thing though. Over here. What's this? Nothing. Oof. Why is this so hard to find? Is this is the normal path? Yeah. Four. That's where that is. This is the one I was just there? No, this is three. Okay. Where? Where do I go? Wait, there are... There are tri there's two triangles on the map. Maybe... Wait. I'm not looking for a question mark. I'm just looking for another triangle. Does it... When does it decide to put them on? Did I already find it? Or maybe I walked like close enough to it that it was like... Okay, this looks like... This is the one I did though, right? This is the one I did. Wait, so there's, there's one that way. Okay, maybe the triangles are always on the map? I'm not sure. I much prefer just following the, the triangle though. So it's this. Where am I? How did I get here? How did I... How was I supposed to find this? The path goes here. Let's see where this path is. It looks like it's just a side path somewhere that I never took. Sure. <laughs> okay, let's see this. One last puzzle. Okay. Pre-connected. Inverter. 
this, which I can't go through, so we're just grabbing those birds. Yep. Okay, this is making a hole there. We need a red here. Oh, lots of hitches right now. Uh, we have red there. There's another inverted there. There's a hole, holeable wall. Okay, inverter, hole maker, inverter. That's everything, right? Sources. We've got red over there. We have nothing else, I don't think. It's a double inversion required to get red to here, probably. Hmm, maybe not actually. Okay, although I don't know, I don't have a way of connecting them directly, so yeah, double inversion required. Um, to get in here, we need a, a single inversion, but we can't use that one, so it has to be this one. So I have to get you back after having come through. What? Uh, oh, I can use that wall somehow. Can I? I can move this over. Oh, ooh, ooh, bringing you over this side. I don't know what you want to point at. This, this point you at nothing for now. But I can get this. Oh no, that can't actually do anything with that. So okay, no, not that. So then, what is the purpose of this? Good question. Send the laser through? Maybe. But there's nothing it could hit here, right? What could, what could I even get this to hit right now? Not that. Nothing. Is that blue? No. No. Um. I need to get this. Must get this. This won't open. Wait, why does it exist then? It must open somehow. Maybe the blue opens both. This is like. Ooh. Can this? This can't go through here. No. I can go here, but then I can't go through. I can't take it through itself. So this is never going through its own thingy blob. So if it's going over, it's going over this way. But then, basically I can have that on this. this. I can't have them both on one side, right? Well, yes I can. I can have both on this side, not both on that side. Can I see... No, I can't see that sensor from here. This is red. That is blue. Uh, so this has to be... Oh, okay. Maybe we connect things. Okay. So... Uh... Yeah, I see. Uh... Uh... Put it here. Oh, and you can see it through as well, which is nice. Cool. We did this, that's connected. But then I can't do anything about that. Eh. So how could I do that and be on the other side? That has to be there. This hole has to be made. For this hole to be made, something has to be here, therefore nothing's on this. Oh gosh, where's that crow? Um... Okay... There's no other way of... Oh, there is another way of opening this. So we bootstrap this as well. Okay, that's what I'm missing. That's what I'm missing. Then that's bootstrapped. Cool. Got it. Now we can get this. And leave. Oh, that's opening. Wait. Ugh. What? They were both closed. That opened 
that one. No, that would be this one. This is toggling these two. But if this is not on. Oh, that's so weird. What? <laughs> what a weird setup. So this is powered by that plus this button. That is powered by that plus not this button. Ugh. Some logic gates would help. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be about like pre-connecting. What was the name of the puzzle? Was it like pre-connection or something? I think it might have been. So we want to go like here to there. So through here. Okay. Where is it? There. Which this could be seen. Yeah, okay. Right? Then we go out. And we... Do we want to change this? If I change that, that's going to close. But then I can do that from here. I think this is fine. Then we've got blue coming this way. And then you just do that. Yeah. Cool. Woohoo! Music suddenly stops. Neat. I'm thinking, should we do the... Should we do the thing now? Let's get it done. Let's get it done. They're usually quite simple. This is one end of it. Also, maybe I'm supposed to do it from that puzzle I was just in, actually. Oh, this one. This one is more likely. Green is what was required. Do I have green? I do not have green. Maybe I have a... Ooh. So maybe that's the complication here. So I need to know what color I need to send to cancel out with something. Oh, look. There are birds. Is that a crow? Hello. Do love the birds. Okay, where's this going? Somewhere. Right. Uh oh, where am I? Okay, it's fine. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Okay, it goes this way. I might turn that end. It might turn out that any laser would have done, and so I should have just done one of them. <laughs> Holy moly, this is going far. Okay. Oh, I think it's that way. Now. <laughs> to something low down. On there? Is there something there? Oh, oh. Oh, there. Okay. So this puzzle? Where, where's the thing I'm trying to get it to? Oh, yeah. I should have thought about that. Well, maybe that was the other end. Oops. Where is the thing I'm trying to get it to? Is it on the map? Oh, I don't remember where I saw it. Oh no. I mean, it'd have to be reachable from here, so if this is the other end. Oh no, I don't remember. Hello, I'm not talking to you now, sorry. Oh no. Maybe this is the other end? Where we're starting here? Can I get a green out of here? I guess that's the, the good first question to answer. Do we actually have the things in the first game when you went into the puzzle that told you what was involved? No, it's not here anymore. Yes, this is a place we can make green, so... I don't think there were many places where we could make green. And all the gates are open, so we don't have to like solve the puzzle at the same time. So... Blue and red, and we want to get it to, is it there? 
Yes. Split here, I think. I think there are two connectors. One's that. Okay, that's fine though. We'll do this. Okay. It's just going over that wall. Okay, cool. Uh, that's, that's the end. Okay, this one. Alrighty, then the other end of this thing. It goes that way, but I think it turns that way. Yes, yeah, so it's more like this. Let's go more direct. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Where are the foxes? Glad the foxes are still alive. Despite the uh, effects, the ecological effects that the disappearance of humanity would have on the world. Which would be pretty significant. Okay, uh, and so I think I saw it over there, right? There, is that the thing? Yeah, that's the thing. Is it probably this puzzle? Can I see it from here? Wait, which puzzle is this? Ah, this is what I've done today. So if I... <laughs> depending on whether I've done the puzzle today or not, it's like more or less convenient to deal with. Oh, it's pointing the other direction, so no, a different puzzle. Because if I leave the game and come back in, the solved puzzles are like cleared out and the gates are just all permanently open. So you're facing this way. So something over here. Maybe all the way over there? Oof. Could be? I don't see another puzzle, so. Yeah! Hidden. We also did this just today, right? Yeah. And by today, I mean today in my time. Oh, no, no. Okay. It's, this is cleared out as well, isn't it? No, it's not. Oh, it is? It is. It is. Okay. Oh, maybe... No, maybe it does just clear out all the gates. It just leaves the things where they were. That's the only difference. Oh. Oh. Still no. There we go. Yes. Ta-da! Alrighty. Star number two from here. So we've only missed one star so far. Ta -da. They're getting a bit samey. These false stars. False idols are worshipped not because they are idols, but because they are false. True idols are rejected because the truth is feared. Okie dokie. Uh, next time we will head up into this thing and then maybe we'll go get the other star that we've missed before heading to the next area. Whichever area is the next area. Maybe north? North somewhere? See you then? Alright folks, goodbye.